It's that time of the year again. I'm Jeff Jr. and today I'm giving you a guide on what you should know when filing your 2020 tax return. Now let's cover the basics. Tax day is Thursday, April 15th of this year. The standard deduction increased to $12,400 for single filers and $24,800 for married couples filing jointly in 2020. The income tax brackets increased to account for inflation. That's just for starters. Now, thanks to this pandemic, a lot has changed for 2021 tax season, so let's dig into what's new. Now, let's start with the stimulus checks. As part of the CARES Act, the government sent up to $1,200 in the form of stimulus checks to millions of Americans. The good news is your stimulus check doesn't count as taxable income. Remember that, doesn't count as taxable income. Instead, it's more like a refundable tax credit for 2020, like an advance on money you would have received anyway in your tax refund for the year. Now, if you didn't get the stimulus tax payment, the IRS has stated that it has already issued all first and second economic impact payments. But if you're eligible and didn't receive a payment or the full amount of your payment, you can claim a recovery rebate credit on your tax return. Simply talk to your tax professional or check out the IRS website for more information. Now, if there's a third stimulus check, they will likely use your 2020 tax return to determine who gets the money and when. Those who filed earlier got their checks earlier. So if you think you qualify, I recommend filing as soon as possible. Now onto the Paycheck Protection Program or PPP loans. The CARES Act also tried to help small business owners by offering a Paycheck Protection Program, known again as PPP loans. As long as these loans were used on certain business expenses, like payroll, these loans are designed to be forgiven. In late 2020, the IRS announced that eligible expenses paid with money from those PPP loans can be deducted from taxable income. That's a little bit of good news, isn't it? Just don't forget that you'll have to get your loan forgiveness application approved by the Small Business Administration too. Now, let's move on to retirement plans. There were some big changes to retirement rules in 2020, and some of them could impact your tax bill this year. So I'm gonna give you the top three. Now first, if you own a traditional IRA, you have to take money out of your account once you reach a certain age. We've talked about these required minimum distributions or RMDs before. If you follow us, then you might remember the SECURE Act pushed back the age for RMDs from traditional IRAs. That age went from 70 and a half to 72 only if your 70th birthday was July 1st, 2019 or later. Plus, the CARES Act allows seniors to skip RMDs altogether in 2020 without penalty. Now that's big because it could lead to a significant tax savings for retirees. Now why? Because that money is taken out of traditional IRA accounts as ordinary income. If you didn't take distributions, you could be looking at a much lower tax bill. Now next, the SECURE Act also allows traditional IRA owners to keep investing money in their accounts past age 70 and a half starting in 2020. Again, since the money you put into a traditional IRA is tax deductible, you could lower how much of your income is taxed this year. The key is to plan ahead to only pay taxes on that money later when you take it out. Now last, the CARES Act allowed people under age 59 and a half to take up to $100,000 out of their 401ks and IRAs through the end of 2020 without paying an early withdrawal penalty. What's the downside? If you did that, the money you took out those retirement accounts will be taxed as ordinary income. Now, that means paying taxes on any withdrawals that you made. But the benefit, you must have deeded that money and you avoided the penalty. Now, one more thing before I forget. Don't panic if you did take some money out of your retirement account and you're facing a huge tax bill. The distribution can be taxed as income and spread evenly over the next three years. And if you can pay back the amount you took out within three years, you can claim a refund on those taxes. And it'll help you get your retirement savings back on track. It's obviously a good idea to get a professional guide who can walk you through this process. One last thing I should mention, if you have an after-tax account with Trajan Wealth, you probably have already received a 1099. That 1099 isn't exactly indicative of what happened within your investments. Now, what I mean by that 
is Trajan Wealth manages your accounts with maximum tax efficiency. There is a big difference between realized gains and realized losses. We would much rather show the IRS you took a realized loss than a gain, and this management is done intentionally for your benefit. Now, with that in mind, if you're not with Trajan Wealth, come and talk to us. Our advisors will create a personalized tax advantage plan for you that considers tax implications on your retirement income plans. So give us a call. Until then, take care.